to me, Lorange is welcoming. Lorange to me is everything. It's family, um, and we're we're joined by the tri communities, and I believe that we're one big family. And we're in this together. It's my home. The tri community is my home too. I grew up here. I went to these schools. I enjoyed this lake and I loved my neighbors. Then I had to move away for university. The bittersweet part of this pandemic for me was being able to move back home. Besides seeing less people out and about, not much had changed since I left. The community still showed me how they come together in a time of need. This time, they showed me by organizing parades. The first was a month after the pandemic began. It was thought up by a teacher named Aaron Rose and was partly organized by the principal and the vice principal of Precam Community School, an elementary school in Larange. They wanted to do something for their students who they couldn't see in person anymore. Um, it was pretty easy. We, we met in the, in the parking lot, so everyone was in their own vehicles. We were really looking for another avenue to kind of, you know, let them know that we cared about them. So the parade seemed like a good option. There wasn't a chance for uh, people to say goodbye or, or to check in. So it was a, definitely a sense of closure, a good, good opportunity to, to bring things to a close. Hey, pre camp community, we are live and we love our families. So we're going to be doing a big parade starting right away. It was touching for sure. There were some students that, you know, we had really strong connections with, even the full, the whole family. And uh, for some of our staff, you know, who had not had that closure to be able to see the kids and uh, know that they're okay and that they're doing fine and that, that everybody's healthy and happy. It was, uh, that was a really nice feeling to have. The next parade was for the students as well. This time it was for the kids at Churchill Community High School in LaRange. They wanted to show them that they weren't alone in this that the connections they had made at the school were real. My name is Kennedy McKenzie, and I've lived in LaRange for, I think, eight, nine years now. And I work at Churchill Community High School as a student support worker. We started off at the school, and we went around um, LaRange area, and then we moved over to the reserve and then we came through Air Ranch and then we finished up at home. So we got to like see everybody. I wanted to be a part of it mostly because I miss my students. Like a lot of our kids come to our school for like a safe place. So it was really good to see them and see that they were doing good. Even though we still couldn't see them every day. The next parade was soon after. It was organized by a nonprofit organization in LaRange called Children North. Then it was graduation time. In the LaRange region, graduation is a huge event and not just for the families of the graduates. They have a ceremony and then a grand march to show off all the dresses and suits, and then they have a dance. This next parade was the COVID-19 version of that grand march. The parents of the graduates organized it to allow their kids the time to bask in the light of their achievement. This was a way for them to all be together, but social distance. We had the chairs all separated and set out, and that's why we had two huge floats for all the kids. It was just, that was the best part, to be able to see them smile and, and be together in the best way they could be. And I think that's part of grad that you really love, is seeing all of the different dresses, all the different genre, like, what people are wearing and and that experience of all of that and i just i had experienced my son graduating two years ago and it, i just was like we can do better we can do more and not just for my daughter but for as many kids as we could by then summer was here 
July brought the annual Pride Parade, but besides a few private birthday ones, the COVID-19 parade stopped while people enjoyed the few months of warm weather. And then fall came. In-person classes resumed, the snow arrived mid-October, and the region had been hit with its first cases of COVID-19. The air felt heavy as Halloween approached. That's when some Lac La Ranch Indian Band members decided it was time for another parade, the Bringing Halloween to You Parade. Um, my name is Shane Bird. I'm from uh, Lac La Ranch Indian Band. I'm uh, part of a youth initiative called Indigenous Spirits. We're a non-for-profit organization and I'm one of the directors. They loved the idea of the parade, uh, bringing Halloween to you. The kids said, let's do it. So I, I said, okay, we're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Halloween. And, you know, growing up as a kid, it Halloween was big to me. And, you know, making my own costumes and uh, getting the candy. And with the pandemic, you know, we wanted to give a safe alternative for, for families and their kids. It brought warmth to my heart, you know, seeing the smiles, seeing the laughs, um, you know, seeing the kids' excitement. That's, that's what I do this for, is for them. Now we're into the holiday season, but because of the pandemic, it's going to look a lot different than we're used to. So that made me wonder, will there be another parade? I asked Shane Bird. We do have some pretty good ideas coming up. Um, uh, we're just, uh, you'll, you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Sounds great. While we're waiting for the answer and looking back at this year of pandemic and parades, it's clear there's something special going on here. I'm going to give the last word to Kennedy McKenzie. Even though we are a tri-community there, and we are technically separated, Larange, Arange, and Lac Larange Indian Band, I'd say when it really comes down to it, when people need it the most, we do all come together as a community.